I'm literally in the process of working on the generational curse breaker goes through constant hell. Okay. Yesterday I uploaded a preview clip of it. I currently have the program open, but I had to pause for a minute. I'm at like 25 minutes and 10 seconds or so. Um, and anyway, um, is a love one another slide, okay? And it has all of these scriptures here that references loving one another. And the last one uh, is referencing Second John 5. So I guess they, like, it should be 1 5. Yeah, I guess that, that's what they're referencing. And now I beseech thee, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment unto thee, but that which we had from the beginning, that we love one another. All right. Um, so, yeah, it's 2 John 1, 5. And, yeah, bro, I'm just flowing by way of the Spirit, gathering some scriptures here. Because, bruh, this, though I haven't even read all of this, it's already imprinted on my spirit. You know, and, and it's just like more and more confirmation and validation that the Father gives to me on a constant basis. You know, it's a firm foundation. Very firm. Okay? John thirteen thirty four, A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another okay and it's not a new commandment this has been since the beginning the all power of love and life told you in the beginning to love one another okay john thirteen thirty five. by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if you have love one to another okay john fifteen twelve. This is my commandment, that you love one another, as I have loved you. John fifteen seventeen. These things I command you, that you love one another. Romans twelve ten. Love one another deeply, as brothers and sisters. Take the lead in honoring one another. 1 Thessalonians 3.12 And Yahushua make you to increase and abound in love one toward another and toward all men and all creation, even as we do toward you. See, I added that all creation because it should be there. The animals are included in this, okay? You are to love the creation, love the animals, not worship the creation. Don't worship the animals, but you are to love them, okay? They are flesh and blood beings with the breath of life, just like we are, okay? 1 Peter one twenty two. Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfringed love of the brethren and all creation, see that you love one another with a pure heart fervently. 1 John 3.11 for this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. 1 John 3.23 And this is his commandment, that we should trust and operate in the name of his son, Yahushua HaMashiach, and love one another as he gave us commandment. Now, yes, I know I changed that from believe and on, okay, because it ain't about what you believe. It's about what you do, okay? It's about how you live your life, okay? So we should trust and operate in the name of his son, Yahushua HaMashiach, okay? And when we're doing that, if we're doing that, we will show love to one another, okay? As he gave us commandment. 1 John 
4, 7. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of the Most High, and everyone that loveth is born of the Most High, and knoweth the Most High. Most people upon this earth today are not walking in love. They don't operate in love. All those that are living this capitalistic society and they're complacent with it, they want to try to project their reality on everybody. They want to disregard individuals and their purpose. No, they want to force everybody to do what they do. See, that's not operating in love. That's not, that's not love. And you have not been born of the Father. You're still a child of this world. That's why you still have this world's mentality. That's why you still have the lens of this world over your eyes. You are blinded from the spiritual. You are blinded from the truth of the Father. 1 John 4, 11. Beloved, if the Most High so loved us, we ought also to love one another. We ought to walk in love towards one another. 1 John 4, 12. No man has seen the Most High at any time. No man has seen the eternal living power of love in life. If we love one another... The Most High dwelleth in us, and His love is perfected in us. We are to be the vessels for the Most High to literally dwell within us. All the good fruits of the Spirit, all the righteous spirits will dwell in us when we're operating in love for one another. Okay? You're going to be possessed one way or another. You're going to be possessed with spirits one way or another. You're either going to be possessed with the fruits of the spirits of righteousness, love, joy, peace, mercy, compassion, empathy, kindness, forgiveness, all of these good fruits of the spirit. You're going to be possessed with that and it's going to take root in you and you're literally going to live your life by it or you're going to be possessed with all the rotten fruits of the spirit okay jealousy envy hatred ridicule and all of these things against the law of love and life and light okay second john 1 5 and now I beseech thee, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment unto thee, but that which we had from the beginning, that we love one another. It's not complicated. We just been taught wrong. We been conditioned wrong. We've been conditioned to look out for yourself. We've been conditioned to believe in a survival of the fittest. And there's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. And, you know, uh, what what is their other freaking little sayings that the worst of the heathen that came out? You know what I'm talking about. That ain't of the Father. That is not of the eternal power of love and life. That's of Lucifer. That's of the savages upon this earth that have chosen to just live by the flesh. Okay? They are absolutely without the spirit of the Most High. That They're empty vessels for foul spirits. Okay? There's a difference. There's a difference. And if you can't see the sheep of the Father who are literally operating in these righteous fruits... It's not something wrong with the person that's operating in the righteous fruits. It's something wrong with you. On that note, shalom.